Welcome to the INSEE Alphabet, bite-sized lettering tutorials for your busy life. We're going to be adding a ribbon to the bottom of this, and the ribbon is not going to be a consistent width like I typically teach with regular ribbons, and that's because it's coming here out of an upstroke, which means that the upstroke has minimal thickness, or even if it's a mono line, it still has minimal thickness. So what you want to do is you want to draw a line that gently increases in size. So here, and guidelines always help, here it's closer and then it slowly grows to get nice and wide down in this area. You want it to be large enough and maybe it should even be larger a little bit more quickly so that you can write something in that ribbon, like the date that you moved into your new home or a marriage date or any sort of important date or your favorite quote even for your family so that that can sit underneath in this ribbon. Now, when you get to the end of the ribbon here, the way that you wanna finish it off is by having it taper off again. So bring it back up a little bit tighter than it was before. So I'm actually gonna tighten it up a little bit sooner. And then at the end here, you can simply give it a nice pointed finish as if the ribbon has rounded back in on itself. You wanna make sure that the line on the top and the line on the bottom is nice and smooth. Your other option would be to have the ribbon fold back in on itself. And if you're confident with ribbons, this would be a great option. Once you have your ribbon set, you can go in and color it out and then add in your quote that you'd like to put or your date that you'd like to put or anything, even maybe it's just the Morris family, anything that you'd like to put that's important to you to fill in that ribbon. Remember to erase before you go in and add your color so that you don't get pencil on the end of your pen and then color it in. You can also think about using the coloring techniques that we did in the letter L to ensure that you have depth and dimension inside your ribbon itself and even where it crosses over the M. The next time that you have some extra space or you want to make one letter pop off your page, consider adding a ribbon off of the bottom of it. Please share your work with the hashtag InseeAlphabet so that not only is it inspiring you to create every day a little something, but it will also allow us to create together.